Well, I have a wonderful electronic invention I want you to see. It, it, it looks something like you. In a world where writing code in Houdini makes anyone's heart drop, there comes a man who thinks creating another course with a clap load of VEX is a good idea. Let me introduce you to the rail system. Again. This time Dave will finally do it. Once and for all he will finish the rail project. No, seriously. But the long wait was worth it. The system now covers features that should have been there in the first place. A rail that can twist and turn, giving you the option to rebuild that cool train scene from that movie. That movie that definitely in no other way inspired the procedural modeling section in this course. Follow along into the creation of the rail system. Use Houdini's height field tools in a procedural way, allowing you to keep adding details where you need them. Loose your restraint towards Vex and see how it can enhance your workflows. Create a system that will recognize by itself where the structure needs support and build towers and bridges according to your own settings for strength and weights. But you need more control, you say. Then build a Python state to manually place the objects, even with guide geometry, and you can use your frickin' mouse wheel. How cool is that? Jump into the course, starring basic height field tools, dynamic tunnel creation, support-based object placement, Python viewer state, procedural modeling, PDG for endless variations, dynamic acceleration, procedural animated gates, automated redshift material generation, and lots and lots of wrangles. And you might say, this train is so unrealistic. Don't worry, I got you covered. Fricking robot centipede arms, procedurally animated to evade the towers, making no physical sense whatsoever. But it looks cool. Don't miss any videos of this free series and do the best thing of the day and subscribe to this channel. Project files will be available on Patreon.